Hello, welcome to the channel. This video is about module verbs. Let's get started. Today we talk about offers, invitations, and possibility with module verbs. Let's get started. Making offers, invitations. There are some module verbs we could consider. Would like, or would like to, to make a request, or even an invitation. For something that is more certain and higher possibility, we could use will, shall, must, and for less certain, we have to use might, may, and could. And also, there is some other things that we could use for request and demand. Let's take a look into something more details. Making a request with module verbs could be very common. However, it could be also very confusing. Let's take a look how to make it more clear and more precise. Let's take a look. Making offers and invitations. Using the expressions we like to make offers and invitations.、Uh, to make offers, we can use would plus like. Like this. Would you like a drink?、Uh, yes, please. I love to. Oh no, thanks. And would you like some ice cream? Oh yes, please. I like some. No thanks. And when we make invitation, we usually use a different presentations. We use would you like plus、uh, to infinitive. For example, would you like to come to my party? So bear in mind, the word to come. This to infinitive function is a blue. Would you like to come to my party? Oh, I love to. I'd love to too, but I'm afraid I'm busy that night.、Uh, would you like to go to cinema? Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to, but I'm afraid I don't have any money. <laughs> that is some hints that we could use. Would like to make a request. How to do it? We also use would like to make request. Example, especially in shops and restaurants. I'd like a coffee, please. I'd like two tickets to the Hunger Games. Please, and also, if we offer to do something for someone, we could use expressions. Would you like me to? Would you like me to do that for you? And bear in mind, for sentence structures purposes, you, me, and to help, a function that's different blue. You is the subject. To help is something you like, so it's a direct object. And indirect object will be me. Okay, and would like is the color red. Then using module verbs to talk about possibility is even more confusing, but that is some way to help us to clarify it in a more clear way. Let's take a look. Use module verbs like may, might, and could plus bad infinitive to talk about possibility, and we use will, shall, and must to talk about certainty. Of course, certainty is talking about something you are more sure, and with possibility. There must be some degree of something likely to happen. For something certain, we use will, shall, and must. For some that is less certain, we use the module verb may, might, and could. It depends on the degree of certainty. For the word will, we talk about hundred percent certain of something that gonna happen. Shall is using for the first person, like I and we. Example. It will take a longer time than usual because take a look at the traffic. I shall be away for only a few days, so shall be is using for the subject I. Will take is talking about something hundred percent certain. And if you are having some high degree of certainty about something that is likely to happen, we could use must. There must be some special event today, but of course we are not still very sure. When the possibility is around fifty percent, you use the word may. For example, ah,、uh, it's a public holiday, so the supermarket may close early today. Might is very similar to may, but it expresses a slightly lower degree of probability. I don't think they will close early, but of course they might. And the module verb could. We use instead of may and might to talk about possibility. I'm not sure where the calculator is.、Uh, it could be in my bag. It might be in my bag. Both are okay. 
There are some other adverbs that we could employ in order to make our expression become stronger. Let's take a look which adverb we could use together with the modal verbs. We can make will and shall even stronger by putting adverbs to color green, like definitely and certainly. After these modal verbs, I shall definitely be back by Sunday. Uh, when we are talking about possibility in the past, we use might or could plus have and a past participle. For example, where is he? He might have gone to Tokyo. Why didn't he answer his phone? He could have left already. Wow, it seems there's a lot of different combinations on different functions of using module verbs. But after you understand all of these definitions, you will be using it in a more precise way. That's all for today. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Goodbye.